Hi everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. So in this video we are discussing the third problem of the Lead Code Weekly Contest 231. Name of the problem is Number of Restricted Paths from First to Last Node. Now there is an undirected weighted connected graph. You are given a positive integer n where n denotes the total number of nodes labeled from 1 to n. Now we are given another array edges where each edge i it represents ui, vi and weight i so it denotes the edges from ui and vi it is an undirected edge and the weight or the distance between these two nodes is weight i all right a path from the start to end is a sequence of the nodes z0 z1 z2 till zk where z0 is start and zk is end and there's an edge between zi and z plus 1 the distance of path is the sum of weights on the edges of the path okay the distance to last node x denotes the shortest distance of the path between the node n and the node x. A restricted path is a path that also satisfies that distance to the last node zi is greater than distance to the last node zi plus 1. So basically um, this is the last node here. This fifth is the last node and the distance from the last node to the last node is obviously 0. Now this is the fourth node. Fourth is directly connected to 5 so the distance from 4 to the last node is either it could be 10 or it could be from 4 to 1 to 2 to 5 that is 2 plus 3 plus 2 which is equal to 7 or it could be from 4 to 1 to 3 to 5 that is 2 plus 3 plus 1 that is 6 so 6 is the shortest that is why the smallest distance from 4 to 5 is 6 similarly the smallest distance from 2 to 5 is 2 from 3 to 5 is 1 from 1 to 5 is 4 all right now we have to find now we have to find number of paths starting from 1 till 5 okay but the condition should be these distances which are marked in blue these distances they should be in decreasing order so let us just copy the same graph and uh, let me just try to explain so basically we calculated these distances these are the distances uh, to the last node that is 5 these are the shortest distances okay marked in blue now we have to find all the paths number of paths starting from this node 1 till 5 but the condition is these distances should be in decreasing order so we can go from 4 to 2 to, five, to 0 so it is 4 to 2 to 0 these are the distances and these are the nodes 1 2 and 5 these are the nodes again we can go from 4 to 1 to 0 so that is 4 to 1 to 0 these are the distances which are marked in blue and this is the path 1 3 and 5 or we can go 4 to 1 4 to 2 to 1 to 0 4 to 1 0 so this is corresponding to 1 then going to 2 then 3 then 5 so these are the three paths right and these are their corresponding decreasing order distances now this we can generate the shortest distances we can generate using an algorithm called Dijethra's algorithm you must already know about that algorithm that is uh, that algorithm is basically used see uh, if these uh, edges are of equal distances if these have equal weights all these edges then we can simply use a breadth first search to find the shortest distance but if these edges are of different distances then in that we have a replacement for your BFS algorithm that is Dijethra's algorithm so if you don't know about this algorithm you can just learn this I will provide the link of this in the description you can either watch a video and learn it or maybe you can just read the document the link of which I will provide in the description so you can just go through this this is Dijethra's algorithm you can go st step by step I'm not going to explain the entire algorithm otherwise the video will be too long so you can just read about that algorithm and this is the implementation part of that algorithm using your priority queue alright so after applying Dijethra's algorithm we will have something like this how many nodes are there? 5 so this is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 after applying Dijethra's algorithm we will have 4 2 corresponding to 3 we have 1 corresponding to 4 we have 6 and corresponding to 5 we have 0 all right and then we will start our DFS or uh, th then we will start from this node the node number 1 let me just change the color 
so we will start from this node the node number one now from one I will go uh, to all its children in a similar way that we do in uh, DFS so I will go to all its children but I should check the condition that the value stored at that children is smaller than the value 4 so yes I can go to 3 3 is connected to 1 and uh, the value stored at 3 is 1 so it is smaller than 4 we can go there we can go to 2 also because 2 is connected to 1 and the value stored at 2 is 2 which is smaller than 4 then we can go to 4 no we cannot go to 4 why so although 4 is connected but the value which is stored at 4 is 6 so that value is actually greater than 4 we can go there so this is how you can apply DFS and using that DFS you can find all the paths again in that DFS there will be a repetition some states will repeat so maybe um, uh, for example from 1 we can go to 2 and 3 right now the answer will be the total number of paths then we can attain if we go to 2 plus the total number of paths that we can attain if we go to 3 so that will be the answer now in this case let us split the 2 so from 2 we can go to we can go to 3 or we can go to 5 so yeah we can go to both these places so we can go to 3 or we can go to 5 okay now from 3 I can go to 5 alone and this is one of the path from here I will return 1 so I got one of the path okay but again here I can see that there's one more 3 so for that also I will have to search so for here again I will see that I can go to 5 so I don't want this repetition so just to avoid the repetition I can store that how many answers are possible if we reach to 3 again so from here it was 1 so from here also it will be one possibility hence we will return 1 from here we will be returning 1 from here and while returning we will store that corresponding to 3 there is one possible path and we will not have to search it again that's why we are going to use dynamic programming DP okay so I just give you uh, all the requirements to solve this question you can now solve this question for sure again from here we will see we will be returning 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 2 is returned from here 1 is returned from here so overall 2 plus 1 is 3 3 is returned from here I hope you understand this uh, this is just using Daitha's algorithm with breadth first search so you can just try this problem by your own the first thing is to generate this array using Daitha's algorithm this one it is very simple you can just apply the algorithm digest this algorithm you will be able to get this array now in this array you can apply DFS the DFS should be restricted according to this value that we have calculated the minimum value from uh, the last index alright and then to the DFS you can apply dynamic programming so I'm not going to do the coding part of this that you can do by yourself if you know these two things so you can just try it by your own now if you guys are preparing for your coding interviews or if you are doing a revision for your coding interviews I am creating this free interview preparation series which you can follow so this series is updated with the latest questions and the necessary questions which you should know before appearing to the interview so I am adding the I am updating this playlist very frequently almost uh, daily I add lectures to this and currently I'm on the topic dynamic programming and if you guys want live doubt sessions make sure to join the telegram channel so I will provide the link to the live doubt sessions I will do that on weekly basis and we will discuss the doubt that you face while following this series in this series we have already covered the binary search then we have covered arrays backtracking recursion dynamic programming and we are going to add a lot and lot of other topics as well such as trees linked list stack queues your uh, window sliding window and a lot of things so make sure you check it out you follow the CDs and hit the subscribe button press the bell icon because the videos on this channel are uploaded very frequently thank you